at Xanadu, beating people like Jay Mafia, Best Nest, Skew, and Alan Dis in that one. This is uh, someone that is just not going to be easy to take down no matter what the realm. And certainly, uh, whether online or offline, Small Battlefield, definitely an appreciated addition to the stage list. And one that uh, I could see benefiting both of these characters. For sure. Um, the uh, the platforms provide kind of like a nice uh, a, a nice shield from some of these falling forward airs from, from Game & Watch. Um, but it's not, uh, it's, it's kind of the illusion of safety because you're still having to deal with the, um, the up airs from below, the nares from below, that sort of the thing. Um, okay, so here's the first test against Game Watch. How do you make it through that? Uh, Armadillo does so, so that's how you get through that. Yeah, down smash at ledge, it's good, we can say. Down smash I at ledge, neutral be at ledge, you know, um. Yeah, true. I, I mean, I, I don't know, I was like, Whatever you want to do at ledge. Oh, wow, that's a scary jump in from Armadillo. Uh, challenging that in uh, head invulnerable up smash from Game & Watch. It's a positional thing, honestly, if you're mm. uh, if you're Game & Watch. But honestly, if you want to mix up, nothing's saying that you can't go down past ledge and try to catch him with a uh, with a button check. Short, little shoulder button check with the, uh, with the back air. Ooh. It has worked out for Meister in the past. Armadillo, however, winning stage advantage, trying to get Aurasphere going, but instead will get down aired for their trouble, not able to get out of that move in time. And here we go with the Nair combos. And up air, if you're able to time out your uh, your landing, you can get out of it relatively unscathed, but it's a move that you are just forced to respect. It's not the kill option that it was in Smash 4. In fact, obviously, uh, we do remember the two toots around here. But Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's still very good at piling on damage, and again, it's a little bit of a check to make sure that you know how to land back onto the stage safely. And it's, it's I, I don't know if this is necessarily um, uh, Meister going for an anti-air as uh, Armadillo gets the KO with the back throw, but I don't know if these up smashes are, are Meister trying to anti-air, or if they're legitimately Meister trying to, uh-oh. Oh my uh, god. Try, I, I don't know if they're trying to clank with the Aura Sphere, but, uh, Armadillo, you gotta watch out now. That you cannot go anywhere near this game and watch because that down B is a one hit KO for sure. Not like, regardless of the percent, like it, it, one sixteen. Of course, it's gonna KO, but it might KO at zero. Oh, Armadillo, still trying to uh, make their way back into this one. And one hundred thirty three percent. You've got all that aura working around you. Game and Watch is not Ooh. a heavy, and you needed that kill. That's... How many times is that going to happen where Armadillo tries to get a little greedy with Aura Sphere, and they wind up dying for it because they weren't able to react in time to that dare, which again, Meister has been making it clear, hey, if you want to keep uh, that button pressed on stage, that's more than fine with me, because oh, I get God. to just down there that and the oil panic. I mean, so many opportunities to fill that bucket up, the properties of it. Certainly no secret to to Meister. And you know, you can fill it up, I believe, off of just the aura in general. But uh, it's obviously not optimal. The most that those uh, that those little pellets can hold is up to 16 percentage points worth of damage. The most damage that you can do with that is 48. And obviously, you want a fully charged aura spear uh, or a sphere, excuse me, filling that thing up as much as possible. And from there, yeah you can kill at very, very early percentages, especially on something like Lucario being caught flat-footed flat -footed on the middle of the stage. Yeah. Um, and, and that's, like, I'm very happy to have somebody who, like, really kind of knows their way around the character on commentary with me. Um, because, like... I just know, liked Game is... & Watch because he was goofy. I didn't, like, that. Hey. I played him in Smash 4. I'm allowed to. I mean, it's... It sounds impressive to me, not all the same, Stu. Um, Fair. But I like I I, I kind of want to like mention one thing is which is that um, I like how I immediately got defensive. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Stu. Um, Love you too, brother. Uh, but one thing that I really want to mention is that like as as much as like as much as it's easy to look at what's going on right now and like you know make make your Conclusion. Draw your conclusions about the playstyle that Game of might Game of Watch might have in this in this matchup. This is a really really scary matchup for Game of Watch. Like you put damage on Lucario, and if you don't taking Ooh. stocks, you're dying probably at around these percents. 
Uh, and so, like, it really takes a... Like, you need to know your game, your win condition, and you need to be able to execute on your win condition because that counter, that counter kills mad early. I don't care what hitbox you're countering. Like, that's the that's one of Lucario's biggest moves where you're like, wait, I died? Yeah, it's just a rough oh, go of it, God. especially for this Lucario, who, let's be real, is not really high up there in the tier list. And even when you're talking about a character that's more anti-meta than anything else than Game & Watch, you tend to struggle just a little bit. And this is an, a relatively even head-to-head -head record for these uh, uh, for these two. Excuse me, I'm just looking at tournaments that they yeah. both entered. Uh, individually, they have not played each other in bracket, it seems. So interesting. Yeah, but right now Armadillo getting tested by Meister, who's uh, you know, no, knows a thing or two about the neutral of this game. Does not rely on the cheesiness of Game and Watch as much as you might think. And right now, this is uh, Lucario, kind of on the ropes here. And you wouldn't think about, uh, you wouldn't think of Game & Watch as being like too willing to take trades against Lucario, but that's really how uh, Meister has gotten a lot of work done in this matchup. Like you, that, that second stock there, that's exactly where that came from. Um, but Armadillo, a master of the character, really showing a mastery of this matchup. I've loved uh, Armadillo's recoveries so far. Um, especially like seeing, oh my God! See, look, Ooh. I died there. I, you died there. That's right. Yeah. You died there. Arm, it's it, Lucario. Um, yeah, pretty much. But like when when Armadillo is seeing Meister charging down smash at ledge, bonks below the stage and is able to bonk up and grab the ledge, completely uh, avoiding the two frame. So like really showing exact, showing that they know exactly what to do in this matchup from a disadvantage, except. That is not something you want to do in this matchup ever is jump in on a game and watch. Yeah, no, if they know to get back to the stage quickly and charge up that uh -oh. up air. And there you go. Aurasphere filling up Yo. the bucket. Oil panic on deck. And you got to believe Armadillo is going oh, to be oh made to God, be careful. Missing on the bucket. And this Meister. Is so much scarier than it looks. Oh, really tried to get the jab. I don't know. I feel oh, like God. jab would have at least gotten them. Uh, last hit of jab would have gotten them stage <laughs> advantage. At the very least. Yeah, these, these Aura Sphere charge hitboxes are are terrifying. Oh my god! If if not for that up B, uh, Meister, I don't know where Meister would be right now. Probably like in the Hudson River. More or less, I mean, and yes, probably at uh -oh. the bottom of it. But that's going to be the yeah the side throw. You rarely see Game and Watches use that. It's not a whole lot you can do with it. Oh, but yeah, man. catches Armadillo running in with the chair taming the lion and indeed meister is going to qualify for the next round potential top eight candidate here and yeah online or off he games and you 